its long-awaited report into the rise and fall of one-time Archbishop of Newark and former Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. Exposes failures that allowed him to move up through the ranks despite repeated allegations of sexual abuse. And points the blame to some as late as John Paul II. CBS News' Andrea Klein-Thomas is in the newsroom with more on this. Andrea? Well, the report is more than 400 pages long, confirming decades of rumors, but it's hoping to repair trust in the church. Bishops, cardinals, even popes downplayed or dismissed repeated sexual abuse allegations made against 90-year-old ex-cardinal Theodore McCarrick. A Vatican investigation finds church leaders turned a blind eye, allowing the sexual predator to rise through the ranks of the church. We publish uh, the report uh, with sorrow. The 400-plus page report outlines a Vatican investigation spanning more than two years with just one goal. To try to get to the bottom of the scandal of how a man who had rumors swirling about him, about how he liked to sleep with seminarians, could nevertheless rise to the top of the Catholic Church. The investigation paints McCarrick as a man able to repeatedly convince superiors of his innocence, including Pope John Paul II, now a saint, who made McCarrick a cardinal, despite knowing about the allegations. The Pope believed McCarrick's denials instead. The report says Pope Benedict took the claims more seriously, but it wasn't until a former altar boy alleged abuse dating back to the 1970s that a deeper investigation began. It was the credibility of that accusation, said to be the first one shared with Pope Francis, that led to McCarrick being defrocked last year. Pope Francis ordered the report, hoping to repair trust in the church, damaged in the wake of McCarrick's scandal. The release of the report comes just a few days before U.S. bishops gather for their annual fall meeting, which has been overshadowed by the McCarrick scandal for two years. Chris? All right, Andrea Klein-Thomas for us. Thank you. Well, argue